over uh, the holiday weekend had dinner with known white supremacists and Holocaust deniers. If that doesn't disqualify him in your mind and that you'd publicly say this is disqualifying going forward, is there anything he could do or say that you get to that point? Well, of course there is, Leland. Let me say anti-Semitism is a very real issue in the world today. And there's a rising tide of anti-Semitism in many countries uh, around the world. When I was in Congress, I co-founded the Anti-Semitism Caucus, as I write about in the book, with the only Holocaust survivor ever to serve in Congress, a Democrat, the late uh, Tom Lantos. And um, uh, you know, as I said in another forum in Chicago earlier uh, today, the president, uh, President Trump was wrong uh, uh, to give uh, a white nationalist uh, uh, an anti-Semite and a Holocaust denier a seat at the table. And uh, I think he should apologize for it, uh, and he should denounce those individuals uh, uh, and their hateful rhetoric without qualification. With that being said, as I point out in the book as well, I, I, I don't believe Donald Trump is an anti-Semite. I don't believe he's a racist or a bigot. I, I would not have been his vice president if he was. And, uh, you know, people often forget the the president's daughter converted to Judaism. Yep. His son-in-law is a devout Jew. Um, his grandchildren are Jewish. And so I, uh, you know, the broad brush of attack that media leveled at him. But uh, I, I think the president demonstrated uh, profoundly poor judgment uh, in, in giving those individuals a seat at the table. And as I said, I think he should apologize for it. He should denounce them without qualification, but I think it would ultimately be, the apologize questions... would be a first that I think in the four years you were pre vice president, you would. <laughs> well, look, it, but anti-Semitism is a very yeah. real issue. We saw anti-Semitic violence during the Trump Pence years. We saw the, the tree of life synagogue, uh, come under fire and, uh, um, and other synagogues around the country. We have to make it very clear. We believe in religious liberty and every American of every political background, should speak um, without hesitation to, to denounce the message and the language of anti-Semitism, white nationalism, and we'll always do that. Thanks for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.